fam. It is Dre and Bro. We are broadcasting live from the highway headed towards um, the MGM. We are on our uh, couple time right now. But anyway, as you know, it is Tuesday Talk. And uh, tonight's discussion is going to be is your spouse getting more respect from people outside of the home than what you giving them in the home? And how do you think that's affecting them and you? Um, Drake, you got any input? I know you're driving. So, this is an interesting topic. So, um, before, I used to have a problem with this. Um, I didn't understand how important it was to uh, not necessarily respect, but like compliments, right? Yeah. I think it was a big deal. Um, so someone used to uh, ask me when it went out, like, how did I look? How did this look? And how did and my thing was, you went and I beat, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, look, I didn't get it, you see what I'm saying? So, um, of course, I'm older, I think I've gotten better with that, and I think that's important. Um, actually, Bonnie's great with it um, to the point that almost sometimes uh, I just catch me off guard because, like I said, I'm not used to that type of stuff. But she's great with it. I think I'm getting better with it. But it's important because <clears throat> uh, men and women, you know, they, they like to, you know, feel a certain way, especially from their, you know, significant other. So if you're not giving them that, you know, uh, what I like to call it, um, Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Okay, okay. Someone else would give them, right? So, your significant other going out, and they keep hearing, oh, you smell good, or you this, or that looks good, or you a thousand. It start playing on their ego. Mm -hmm. And and then, you know, then they start warranting that, but they're only getting it from a specific place, which is not the place they probably want it from. Um, but they got to get it from wherever they can get it from at that point. Facts. And then you're stuck looking like you notice they whole wardrobe changed, the fragrance done changed. You're like, dang, what is all that about? You know, because if you even care, yeah, yeah. because sometimes your spouse could change everything, change their hair, change their smell, change something as small as their outfits, and you will be so stuck on yourself and so engrossed in how you feeling that you don't even notice. And a lot of times they do it for you. Um, but once they stop doing it for you, they end up doing it for the other people that's giving them all the attention. Right, right, right. So, I just want to know what y'all take is on that. Agree, disagree, indifferent. Talk to us. Yeah, because um, we were told one story in a uh, real talk, uh, couples ministry. We were told a story about a woman who, you know, always disrespected her husband. And she always um, um, talked down to him, made him feel that he was less than and um, always just just disrespected him she was disrespectful to him and one day she uh popped up at his job and everyone at his job uh, was giving him providing him with the utmost respect respect down to the cleaner you know sir is there anything i can get for you she watched his receptionist you know uh yes sir is there anything else i can help you with and and she just watched every single person uh, respect this man that she disrespected on a daily basis. And it it convicted her. You know, it made her feel really, really bad. And uh, she, she lost that marriage, as a matter of fact. But um, when you ask people what they did wrong in their past relationships and things like that, they, they often say the same thing, you know, that they wish that they were more respectful or they wish that they listened more um and now that you're in the relationship you don't do it so 
that's that's the biggest thing. Are you giving that respect? Are you listening? Are you paying attention? You know, what are you doing uh, to let your significant other know that they're important to you, that they have um, your attention, that they have your respect? So, I have a situation with um, a young lady. She, I mean, constantly have negative things to say about her about her uh, about her husband and um so and I used to explain to her like that's bad because like none of us know him and when we meet him or see him all we can remember the things the negative things that she, that she was saying about him which some people you know prejudge will prejudge and um, which is not fair to him, because um, we don't know that dude. You know what I'm saying? So she can just be uh, exaggerating over things, but that's why be careful to prejudge people too. But um, but with that said, is that's so much disrespect. But guess what? That marriage is so unhealthy. He leaves for like months at a time. All this type of stuff. Because again, he's not getting no respect at home. Because if you disrespect him like that in public, I can just imagine how you carrying it at home. With people, you know what I'm saying. So, be mindful of that when you out. Even if you feeling some type of way, be mindful of how you speaking about your um, about your uh, your spouse or your significant other. You know what I'm saying? Because again, these people you're talking to them about probably gonna end up around them, and you don't want them to be you know prejudging based off some stuff just because at, at a moment you was upset and you got all this negative stuff to say. But that's what they're gonna remember. You can come back. For three weeks straight after that, nothing but positive. But guess what? Because the world we live in, all they can remember is that negative stuff. Mm. So be mindful of the things you say about your spouse when you are. If you got, you know what I'm saying? If you got guys have issues, try to work it out amongst yourselves. Um, don't take it outside the house. No. And you make a good point about that. Most of the time, when you remember what is being said about something, you remember the negative connotations. You don't remember what people say positive just like if you were going to go stay at a hotel you know you're always going to look for the negative you're always going to remember oh this person said that you know they don't have a clean hotel or, but you won't remember all of the wonderful things that people said about it right. so when you're speaking about your significant other to other people you got to remember that because you never want to put them in a situation in which everybody is looking at them like they are crazy and they don't know and it's by your words it's by your comments about them so if you feel that way about them you should probably stop to think that maybe that's not who you want to be with you know True. a lot of people spend a lot of time in relationships with people that they don't want to be with they talk about them badly they treat them badly they tell them what they are and ain't gonna do and they looking around at other people if they not already being with other people instead of just saying this probably isn't the thing for me you know and you deserve to be with somebody that actually cares. Right. You know, so um that's all I got. We might be on a short a short message today, y'all. Yeah, we gotta um go ahead find well, I would got my husband on his hand. But um be up at this little tangler joint. We're about to walk around real quick while I'm still nice outside. But again, like I said, just always chime in. And um, if you guys don't know, I think she did post it. We are now have a YouTube channel, so you can always go back and um, hey Mecca, that we can do. You guys can go and you know check out the the messages. The, yeah, whenever, whenever, because uh, what we're noticing is we come on consistently every Tuesday at seven o'clock. But people may be trying to get dinner ready, trying to get their houses together, trying to get their kids in order and whatever else have you. So what we did was we set up a YouTube page um, so that those messages will go there after um, here and and you can watch them at any time you want. Um, this message today, which is basically about respect and respecting your significant other. Do you respect them? Do you understand that they're respected outside of the house and them being respected outside of the house is causing the respect, the disrespect inside of the house to be amplified. Um, and if you don't want to be with that person, if you disrespect them so often, um, 
you don't want to be with them you maybe should leave them and on another note um it is possible what you cooking Make, <laughs> she says you're cooking as we speak I'm like what are you cooking because we not eating right now but it is possible that you do love the person that you're with even though you're being disrespectful and in that situation you maybe need to take a look at yourself and you maybe need to see what it is that you need to fix within yourself so that you can show the person the respect and the love that you actually feel for them but you can't get over the things that you are dealing with on your own a lot of the times you could be in a situation and be with somebody that you love and care about but you're so wrapped up in your own mess that you can't get past that and then you overlook the things that they're doing for you you overlook the person that they are to you and then with that being overlooked those people decide that they don't want to be with you anymore and you lose out and you miss out because of what you're doing or not doing did i say that right baby no you're right you're right, right. Irvin, what's going on i ain't forget we gotta get up um no, you hit it on the head, babe. Um, it is about respect, and like I say, inside and out, outside the house. Because my thing is this: on top of that, if you outside speaking negative, 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 alert, help me out there. Negatively. That word right there. What I said. <laughs> um, and say we wanted to, and I'd be like, "Oh, dang, that's 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 them folks, peoples." And now I just started some rumors with somebody don't even know this character, and I'm like, "Yeah, man, he does da 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 da, right?" So now, guess what? Every time somebody else see him, oh, yeah, I, mean, I heard about him. This, mm-hmm. See, you just started this whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Just because for a moment, you felt some type of way. There's something you should have took care of in the house with your significant, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so like, don't don't leave, don't leave, send up that, that, that man out there blind like that or that woman out there blind like that. Um, like, take care of it. If it's that bad that you got to be out here in these streets putting dirt on their name, don't be with that person, you know what I'm saying? Leave. You, you have that option. You, know what you, do. you do have the option <laughs> So um, I, I just feel like You know what's in, what happened to your household Should stay in your household I, I, I agree with you I mean every every situation is the same Love is a decision Love is a decision Do y'all agree with that Because you can decide tomorrow I don't want to do this no more Pack up all your stuff and leave Everything that we do in our life Is a, is a matter of making up your mind About what you want to do tomorrow You could wake up in Hawaii Because you decided That I no longer want to live here I want to move to Hawaii And you do it Once you act upon that That's what it is So in the situation of being in a relationship You have to decide every day That you want to be with with that person there is a matter of any time that you both could say i don't want to do this anymore that's something that you got to think about you know that's something that you you have to to work on and decide on you know i know that's right she says i tell him i choose to love you today <laughs> and I, that's that's i mean but it's true it's facts like you, you you're choosing this you're choosing to be respectful you're choosing to be a good wife you're choosing to be a good husband and you're doing it because that's what you choose to do you know so i think um the other thing that you touched on about leaving stuff in your household you could have a bad day and be upset with your spouse. You could be mad they did something dumb. But but taking that outside of those walls is is not smart. You see people posting on Facebook. You see people posting on IG. You know, did I wish he this, that, and the other. Or I heard he did, did, did. That need to stay up in your house because at the end of the day, tomorrow, when you love them again, everybody in the world knows everything that you've been through from beginning to the end pretending to be happy unhappy cheating lying whatever everybody know your business but when you try and you try to put that thing back together and you try to mend that thing people are going to look at you like you're dumb now don't get me wrong who cares what people think but you still need to have that respect and keep your stuff together that's right. Love them again. That's right. She said, "Love them again." Yeah, they, and, and don't forget when you when you introduce. All right, so here's again transparent. I hate this. All right, I'm not into this uh, public affection thing or whatever. Just mm. social media. But he said I the chose page to up. do it because <laughs> I know why. that uh, you know 
is something that I know she's into, or whatever. So knowing that is knowing your spouse or your significant other, whatever case may be. You know what? Some things I have to get over. Um, so yes, so I end up setting as a surprise. I was like, boom, set this page up. Show her I'm I'm working outside the box, right? And, and the reason that I never was into the whole thing is because when you do this. Guess what? All you guys that follow us are now in our relationship. That's true. Y'all part of the relationship. You see what I'm saying? So We were told yesterday that if we break up, somebody is coming and they're going to put us back together. Right. <laughs> so. Right. So, so that was my downfall. So you got to be careful of that, you know. But, and by doing this, being transparent, hey, Nisi Poo, um, by being transparent like this, now that we know, um, you know, people do follow us and things of the nature... I can't be out here really nilly, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be, because even though I hold myself to a standard, but now I know other people is. But I, I ask that, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to that, you know, hold me accountable, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to be the best I can. But um, but knowing that, so when y'all putting stuff out... We love you too. When you putting stuff out, um, social media and stuff like that, then people are not involved. And everybody is not out for your good. That's true, that's so, true. So be mindful of that. So you guys gonna have to be. So when you, so when you ready and you feel like, oh, I'm gonna put this out to the world, be prepared. Be for prepared. The attack. And understand that even though Dre did surprise me and put this page out, I was willing to not do not do anything like this because I understood that Dre never put any of his relationship stuff out on social media. I came into the relationship knowing that I didn't really care if we put it on social media or not. But because I'm an artist, because Dre's a chef, you know, etc. Dre took that that lead and said, you know what? I'm going to fall in line with what you do and we're going to put it out there. And I appreciated that. You know, there you have to, there's a give and take, you know, and we're always willing to give and take for each other it's dre don't like that you know oh, oh ronnie don't like that matter of fact we at tango right now and i'm not feeling well i'm being announced to a lot of people i have multiple sclerosis so some days i'm really really down um and my entire body is in pain right now and dre was not having that you know but i like beg like a little kid like please let's say i just like hanging out with you let's just go hang out you know it's it's a give and take thing you know, so a lot of people, um, they know we're transparent. We're transparent about uh, the things that we deal with. We don't deal with a lot. We don't really have that many issues. Believe oh, it or not. You know what? I forgot about that. Yeah, Mecca has MS too. I forget. Yeah, you're right. I so you about under, So you definitely yeah. understand. Yeah. And see, and, and it's, it's hard, like, because, and this is a whole other topic in itself, but um, when you're in a relationship and you're dealing with, with things like that, that person has to understand your sicknesses. That person has to understand your pain and the things that you go through. Um, and, and that's, that's a whole nother entity in itself, you know, dealing with that. Do you want to deal with that? Do you want to deal with me being sick? You want to be dragging me through the stores and people don't look at if, if you're walking and you're, and you, you look like you're normal people don't look at you as having a disability um so it's it's pretty hard you know to 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 deal with that but if you're with somebody that's understanding you're with somebody that's there for you that you know i got really really sick the other day and guess what i turned i had medicine water <laughs> you know is here 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 you know if you have that support it is so important that you reciprocate that support as well not always expecting to get um that support but not willing to give it i think that's the problem um with people in relationships they're always wondering what they can get what they can get and you ain't do this you ain't cook me dinner you ain't pick up so i ain't picking up but what did you do um 100 percent of the time you should be thinking about what you can do for them you know and they're probably thinking about what they can do for you you know that's that's you know that's just what it is if you're not doing that then you might not be in the right relationship right. you know then maybe you should explore finding i mean we're not encouraging breakups okay let's let's get that straight stop we're, stop my thing is this stop make make sure you happy that's all i'm saying that's all that matters i don't and again all this is just opinions. You know, you guys do what you want. I'm not telling nobody to run a relationship. But, like, for me, 
I don't never would want Ronnie to be miserable just to make me happy. Because I don't feel I should be miserable making someone else happy, right? So right. that's why it has to be give and take. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you're the only one always give, giving, 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 and you don't, you're not receiving anything, I, I want to grant it. And I say this again: I, I wasn't the greatest in math, but that's bad math. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so love yourself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Love yourself. Know how you want to be loved. Be open. That's be be big. open. Be open to be loved. That also. is big, right there. So, so. um then you know what to expect. You are very welcome. And <laughs> she said, you're, you're all a confirmation for mine. <laughs> so I thank you. You're very welcome. Um, so, um, I, I think that's, I think that's huge. You know, you gotta know, <laughs> you yeah. gotta know, you know, know what you want. A lot of people look at me and Dre and be like, y'all just, what? I mean, this was fast. I, I hear it. I hear it a lot. Ooh, ooh, that, that was fast. Know what you want. There you go. No. See, and and now you got to tell them, <laughs> good yeah. or bad or indefinite, indifferent. Right. You got to, you have to, you know, express yourself. But but also in expressing yourself, sometimes you got to step back and think about what you want to say because sometimes we express ourselves before we really know everything that we're feeling and we end up losing out on something that we you know didn't really mean to lose um sometimes expressing yourself all the time every time you got an emotion every time you got a feeling every time you got something on your mind is not the best idea because you may not be thinking clearly at that point or that person may not be uh, open to listen at that point you know so you have to also take the time to know uh, when you are expressing yourself in the right capacity in the right moment in the right setting and you also have to know when it is coming from you and not anger or emotion or, or things like that um, Dre has taught me a lot about just blurting out blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> you know I don't blah, blah, blah. Dre, Dre will put you a check so fast like is that what you meant to say and then how you think it is it maybe not <laughs> no I didn't mean to say that I I, I, I was just thinking that at the moment and, and, and he'll have you all, you know feeling your, like oh wait no I apologize you know you gotta you gotta watch that you gotta um really really put some thought into it if that person means um that much to you yeah, I mean, because again, regardless how that person is um, acting or whatever case is, you know how you want, you know the energy you want to receive, right? So regardless of the situation, make sure you're trying to give out that same energy, mm -hmm. even if it's not the other person not receiving it the correct way. You're responsible for you. At the end of the day, you're responsible for you. That's right. So you can't say I lashed out because you lashed out, or I cursed you because you cur your character is your character. That. You know what I'm saying? You can hoop and holler all day. If that's not my character, guess what? You hoop and holler by yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, so I had to, I had to train myself with that. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I, it's still a work in progress. But I know what kind of energy I want to receive. Mm -hmm. So I try my best to put out that same energy. And know your red buttons too. You know, mm -hmm. know your buttons like. If somebody is constantly pushing and pushing and pushing your buttons, mm -hmm. you have to know when to say, hey, you know, hold on one second. Somebody's requesting a live video. Hold on. Let's bring them on. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So that's all I say. Try that. Try to try to, you know what I'm saying? You know the energy you want to bring. Hold on a second. <laughs> so, well, we got somebody coming in, y'all. What's up, Julia? Hey. How's it going? What's going on with you? Hold on. So, so, yeah, just make sure that energy that you give out is the same energy you want to receive back, man. Regardless, of right, wrong, and indifferent. No one said it was gonna be easy. No one says me, but it'd be worth it. Hey y'all. Hey, what's up, hey, Julie? What's going on I with you? Finally, didn't miss it. I was like, <laughs> I said, I'm a, I'm a log out from work. I'm not missing it this week. 
<laughs> yes, okay. Mecca, we can bring you on. We can have conversations. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have come on and joined us in the conversation, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Conversations. One thing so, I've Julie, learned, what's going on with you? One thing I've learned, uh-huh. even people that's already married are learning things from y'all. You know what I'm saying? Some of the wow. stuff y'all bring wow. up. You know, me and my husband been married almost four years. And I'm mm-hmm. paying attention to, like she said, the buttons and just the little things we don't, we forget about. Till right, the argument right. pop off and then you be like, dag, you know? So I hope there's some married couples out there. That yeah. Some refreshment to y'all. You know, that's yeah. That that's we appreciate that because you know all we want when we get married is to have that same energy mm-hmm. to right. have those couples that wrap us in their arms and tell us what we need to remember and yeah. that we never forget you know these things that we talk about the good thing about social media is that you can go back and <laughs> look at the video <laughs> say Dre remember you, you know said. what's so funny you know what's so funny I seen Dre seven years ago. <laughs> and, the warehouse and he didn't even recognize me. So uh, he waved, <laughs> and he waved back, but he didn't have no reaction like he remembered. It been that long. <laughs> it's all good, though. It's all oh, good. Oh, man. <laughs> we definitely Dang. believe I'm almost 38, Dre. Nah, I wish you wouldn't have said it because that makes me feel that much older. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah. Yeah, she's 38. About to be 39 this year. <laughs> it just dawned on me. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so. But I'm so happy but, for y'all. I'm happy thank for you. y'all. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So y'all gonna have more kids? Y'all talk- nah, we good. We good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all of our kids, all of our kids are teenagers and Come adults. On, great. <laughs> So, you know, for so all those that want to know, <laughs> this this right here, Julia, this is a question that a lot of people have been asking us. We're going to make it plain right now for everybody that's watching. We no, Gucci. We Gucci. <laughs> we, we, we got a dog. I we named him that. Diesel DeAndre that. Kelly. And we raise our dog just like one of our kids. Yeah, so no y'all, boy, just gonna y'all. Wait on the, y'all just going to wait on the grandbabies then. That's right. Yeah. Wait on our and I hopefully it wait. But on, on top of that, like we at a point in our um in our careers really that I only know if a child would be, you know what I'm saying? It, it wouldn't be conducive to our relationship. He he is running around constantly as a chef. I mean our dog gets neglected half the time. Yeah. He's running around <laughs> as a chef. I have a full schedule as an artist. And for us to have ch- our kids are grown and teen my youngest child is about to be in Say high school. <laughs> Say it. So are you go- so are you gonna sing at the reception? No, I haven't heard your no. voice yet. I gotta, I gotta check you oh. out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I want to hear no. hear your voice. I've been told that I'm not allowed to sing at my own reception. People saying that that's kind of tacky. I can't sing walking down the aisle. What are all the stuff they have told me? I can't sing walking down the aisle. I can't sing at the wedding. I can't sing at the reception. I was gonna, I was gonna cook my own food. Dre was gonna cook. Now that's what's up. He can't cook. But they done told me no, I can't do, I can't cook. No, so can't cook we supposed to just enjoy the moment, but yeah, I was, look, I was, we was a plan a lot for this muffler. Well, y'all yeah, do man. need a day off, because y'all be grinding with them events. Yeah, Y'all do, yeah. Y'all do, need, do need a day off. I give you that. Yeah. Yeah. Both of us already booked up. Sunday is Father's Day. I have to be somewhere in ministry. He has I to gotta, be somewhere. Yeah, I'm doing a Father's Day brunch. We just yeah. are busy, so the kid thing is out. Yeah. <laughs> um, next month, um, Mecca, uh, July 9th. He just told the whole world. <laughs> oh, Don't know what I did. July 9th, y'all. Nah, it's right there. Oh. When is the date? Oh. Y'all want to know? July, July 9th. July 9th. However... Our wedding ceremony is going to be a very small private intimate ceremony. With In and our out. Family and friends. In and out. Um, yeah, We're not playing a lot for this muffler. But we got less than 30 days. <laughs> Yo, guess day. what? I ain't got no suit. I ain't got no tux. I <laughs> got nothing, I'm uh, telling you. But now, I'll, I'll be ready. I'll be on time and I'll be ready. You know what I'm saying? 
I wish I, I wish I was with y'all when I was up there in March and went to visit in March. Okay, who come, when you come when we coming back because we trying to prepare for hurricane season down here. Yeah, yeah. y'all done right in them joints, man. I'll be yeah, hey, man, right I, I, but Julie, yeah. yeah, I'll be I praying for you on the real though. I do when, when Hurricane Irma came, I was still kind of mm. new to being down here, so I was just mm. shook up. I didn't know, you know, I was just following the news, like we had to relocate to a mm. nearby city. So I hope it just. Mm. <laughs> Nothing pop off and just pass over. We get some heavy rain. That's it this year. Cause I'm, right. I'm not used to that floods and all that foolishness. I don't. Mm -mm. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I be praying for you. Every time I be I just look at the weather forecast, I be saying like hurricanes floating around Florida. I'm like, you only need to get up, get up out of there. <laughs> Solid, you, Joe. But it's so beautiful down here. I'm telling you. I can I'm imagine. I can imagine. That. Yeah. If y'all ever get down here, you should check out the city called Clearwater. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm oh, yeah, I go to Clearwater. Oh, I'm telling you, Bones. it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah, Clearwater is nice. It is. It is. That's saying I agree. your feet feel like baby powder. You're walking <laughs> on no No, nah, that's yeah. good. Hey. It's been that's almost three saying. years. That's what Bones said. Hey, hey Bones, can we bring you on? Okay, he says, that'll be good. Time to feed your face. All right, All right Mecca. Mecca. But yeah, thank Julie. Thank you for listening. Julie, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm about to go in this. We got to hit this out lab, see if I can find something. So I'm so far behind. Well, I'm going to make okay. sure I'm around gonna, at 7 we're gonna bring bones. On, on next Tuesday. We're going to bring Bones on for a second, too. So stay tuned for that conversation. Y'all have, oh, yeah. have a good evening. Y'all have a good evening. All right, Julie. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. For those All of you right. that's just joining us, um, we were talking about relationships and respecting your relationships. Bones, go ahead and send a um, request for us to add you um, to the video. But we uh, have been talking about relationships. We've been talking about respect and how you are to go about respecting uh, your partner, uh, Julie. Excuse me, Julia just joined in and thanked us and said as a married couple of four years, they have been getting a lot of good insight for us. And I appreciate that, man. We appreciate the feedback because we're not perfect and we're not married yet. But those of you that just joined us, that's coming. <laughs> so, Cuzzo, what's going on, Miko? Uh, what's good, Miko? Reese Cup, how you doing? Um, and for everybody that just joined, you know, we were just discussing how people get in their households disrespectful. You know what, Bones? That's a good question. <laughs> See if Julie could tell you how she just did it. How do you add somebody to the conversation? Who knows how to do that? Miko, you are always hungry. Miko, <laughs> you just said you was going to o, uh, o, o, OTI. Here we go. We're getting ready to go. Um, Bones, I just sent you a request to go live with you. We're going to bring on Bones. And and you know what? We just bought some amazing... Oh, is that it? That's it? What up? What up? What up, Bones? Man, my man, man. Love y'all, man. How y'all doing, man? <laughs> hey, we hanging in there. Okay, hey. that's what's up, man. Hey, I just want you to know, Slim, you got something. You man. got... Hey, thank both you, for now. Man, thank you, you man. Watching, Bones has created some wonderful, refreshing <laughs> cucumber and ginger. And a curd oh, and ginger. Man. And ginger drink. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm glad y'all like them, man. I'm glad oh, y'all like them. I killed mine today. Yeah. Um, For real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I'll be hitting you up for some other. Uh, Matter of fact, get some more. hey, uh, uh, Miko. I'm going to get these juices from my man. You got to try, man. Just, man, bro, thank you, man. Man, y'all, bro, y'all, y'all, y'all just don't know, bro. Anything y'all ever need me for, I'm going. Uh-oh. It froze. Frozen. <laughs> it's my friend. He'll be back in a minute. He'll be back. But, yeah, his drink, I'm telling you, a ginger and a, there you go, there you go. Bones. Yeah, my man, my man, my bad, y'all. That's all right. Okay. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, we, we just want you to know, man, like, I, I'm, I'm, man, I'm swear to you, 
I won't be going around drinking. I was first. I was just doing it because you know you my man. I'm gonna support you one thousand. Okay. Oh man, my man, my man. Thank y'all, yeah, man. My hey, my cousin always talking about he he wanted he wanted to get some, so I'm gonna have to hit you up for uh, like okay. I'm gonna have to hit you. I'm probably gonna hit you up a little later for like four more. Okay, <laughs> man, bro, I got you, man. My man, my man, I appreciate you, man. Always, bones. Man, listen, man, listen. Everything y'all do, everything y'all stand for. Man, bro, you can meet pluses that's in your life. Man, that's what y'all uh, straight plus, man. Ain't nothing minor. Wow. And, then the, and then the both of y'all together, man. Come on, man. You know, y'all like superheroes <laughs> to me, man. Batman and Robert, man. <laughs> oh, great, bro. Seriously, man. Hey. I mean, again, I live life through analogies or whatever, and that makes me see things a little bit clear, just how I just try to develop an analogy for everything that we go through in life or whatever. You know what I mean? Because a lot of things we don't understand if we look at them head on. But if we look at it from a different angle, we'd be like, oh, okay, damn, I was looking at shit like that. Okay, I got to stop doing it like that. So, man, everything y'all do, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Man, the conversations, man, y'all have or whatever. Because it's nothing like how y'all use a social media outlet as a positive tool, man. You know what I mean? Y'all use it as a positive tool. And, bro, your food that you cook, I'm, as soon as I get this bag, I'm going to get fat. Cause I'm fucking with you. Believe that. <laughs> Seriously, man. I'm getting fat. Hey. Cause my bro. Hey, bro. Hey, hey. Every, every, everything you cook. I told you yesterday. Everything you have ever cooked. Yeah. I was mad as hell. I didn't get it get all like man. I should have got like two of them jaws and like say, man. Hey, I don't care what people think about me. I needed them jaws. Thank you, man. Right, right. Thank you, man. Hey. Thank you, bro. I appreciate hey, y'all, man. Hey, yeah, always, Bones. Hey, hey, and on the real, though, Bones, anytime, man, you're always invited over to the house for a plate, bro. Just know man, that. Thank you, man. You know thank that. you, man. Y'all yeah. don't understand this. We throw out so much food. It's, we, have, yeah. we call random people to come and get plates and plates of food. Oh, <laughs> man. Y'all go ahead. Y'all go Let me change my name to Fats. Oh, man. Go ahead, y'all. <laughs> hey. I love that, hey. man. And and Bones, one of the things we were talking about this morning, and this is just, you know, talking to the people that are watching, you said something very insightful on last night um, in regards to it's great having a partner that you can go back and forth with your vision. Yes. Having somebody sitting literally yep. in your mind. And yes. And relax your glass on your arm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Hey. Yes. what I said. Yes. Hey, yes. Hello. We woke up. We woke up. Talking about that. I'm telling you, we woke man, up. Go ahead, man. That's real talk. Sometimes, woke up talking about this. Stay in your mind about things that you talk about, conversations that you have, and some of the things that you said just hit us. Like yeah. this. Man, go ahead. 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 We, we started our YouTube page on yesterday. Oh yeah, based off of you. Man, go ahead. I'll that conversation. We, hey, bone. So we appreciate you. The YouTube channel is up now. No, my man, my man, I love y'all, yeah. man. Go yeah. ahead, man. So we appreciate you, bro. Yeah, we man. Appreciate I'm, you. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell y'all something. The strength and the positivity that y'all bring, I love. I'm not on social media all the time, but when I click on it, I don't give a fuck if I catch. 30 seconds of what y'all are talking about is 30 seconds of positivity. You know exactly. what I mean? It's 30 seconds of something that, like, I, I, I'm going to enjoy. But I already know how you get down. Did I know how she strengthens you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's nothing yeah. like when you have somebody that, man, got your back, your side, your front, man. Like, you, man, bro, you got insurance right there, bro. You yeah, covered. Yeah. You ain't got liability, bro. You got full coverage right there, bro. Right, right. Trust me. <laughs> It's not that. One of the things I posted on my Facebook page yesterday, I know a lot of y'all are not on my Facebook page. You can find me at Renelia Sink. But one okay. of the things I said yesterday was be his rib. And mm -hmm. the reason why Drake, Drake calls me his rib is because the rib protects the vital organs. Right, the right, 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 right. Go ahead. Is the heart. And I'm protecting Drake's heart. I got to understand that. Hey, hey, Drake. You had to go yeah. see some scuba gear on because she is deep with that thinking, <laughs> bro. <laughs> hey, man, that's all right, man. No, yeah. it's, it's just, it's something that 
Dre provides to me. Um, he is my support. He is my comfort. And I am so grateful to have a partner like him who has vision. You know, a lot of times guys have vision and girls, like you said, push them away. They don't know yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, I, 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 I done had, not cutting you off, but I done had, like, my vision, like, just speaking to people, like, they think that you're thinking crazy, but anything, I support anybody's vision because it's your vision. How can I shoot down your thoughts? How can exactly. I shoot down your dreams? You know what exactly. I mean? I got I to support what you're building on. Even if the foundation ain't strong, I got to be supportive of what you're doing. You know what I mean? I can't tell you, oh, man, get out of here with that dumb ass shit. I don't want to hear that. No, I got to support you. I got to support you. Exactly. I support everybody. A person could tell me, that boss, I'm having a cabaret. I promise y'all, I know goddamn well I'm not going. Mm -hmm. But my, my money that I'm going to pay to go to that cabaret going to represent me being there because at the end mm -hmm. of the day, they're trying to generate a dollar. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So if I can help put my dollars with what they're trying to generate or whatever, I feel like I, I, I did my job. Sometimes your presence ain't, ain't got to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, can leave your, you can leave your food somewhere and people know it's from you, your mm -hmm. presence is going to speak volume. You know what I mean? So I sometimes do yeah. you don't have to be there. You exactly. know what I mean? Who you yeah. are says enough. Who you yeah. are says enough, exactly. bro. That's heavy. That's heavy. Mm -hmm. That's heavy. Yeah, you it's absolutely big. right. And then, when you, and, and then when you're with somebody that doesn't have vision and <laughs> you got vision. It Man. Oh, 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 my God. It's like you keep hitting the pothole. Why my alignment keep going to the <laughs> left? Why my car keep staying to the right by itself? Oh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Hey, listen, listen, man, I'm going to go in this joint. I got, I got a, a gig I'm going to go in here doing video or whatever. Okay. Man, y'all know I can Maybe sit back and, man, y'all know I can sit back and talk to y'all all night and day long yeah. because positivity don't attract nothing but positivity. Ain't nothing exactly. negative, ain't nothing negative about y'all, man. I'm loving that y'all in the car right now. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm like, I'm like, hey, listen, who knows where this, this, these two, who knows? They could have pulled on the side of the wrong because they got to get the message out. They got to get it out. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Put, right. man, hey, listen, man, number love and respect for y'all, man. And I definitely, man, will see y'all soon. And, man, thank y'all oh, for yeah. inviting me on, man. God oh, yeah. damn, man. No doubt. A, no doubt. Hey, hey, bro, it was a pleasure, pleasure because guess what? How geared up you stay, man, yeah. bro. You, you're, you're a superstar to me, bro. <laughs> that man, man. You, you want them to know we always rocking our name. Yes, yes, you better. You better. Yes, yes. You better. You better. Exactly. You better. Exactly. Right. Hey, you see, else. you see that? Look at that. You, exactly. you see what I got on? And I made this shirt because guess what? I got to find my own keys to victory. So if I can hey, make this hey, shit, hey, and this one is hey, 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 my hey, keys to victory, hey, that's what I, it is. I, man, I, I, love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I'll definitely see y'all soon. All right, bro. Appreciate you, bro. All right, y'all. I'm a man. All right, bro. All right, y'all, everybody. That was Bones, man. Y'all need to hit him up. Like I said, he made this amazing drink. Detoxing, very healthy. Cucumber and ginger. You got carrot and ginger. Y'all hit him up on here. Um, and again, represent yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. you go out always trying to represent people who you don't even know, mm -hmm. spending all kinds of money because of a name or something that you don't even know. Make your own name. Make a name for yourself. That's one of the things that Dre and I are very, very heavy on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go and make a name for ourselves. However, we do appreciate all the love and the support that we get from y'all. We thank you so much for everybody that joined us tonight. Julia for coming on. Bones for coming on. And whenever we have these conversations, you guys feel free to ask us to bring you on. If you got something to say, Say it. Say it. Say it. Don't let us do yeah. all the talking. Like Clarice, uh, like Clarice just said, say it. <laughs> Clarice says, my girl. say it. You, you, if you have something to say, we a lot of times we have these conversations, and Dre and I can bounce off of each other over and over and over all day long. But we are nothing without your input. You know, mm -hmm. we do this so that we can all have positive influences and conversations that will help us these conversations help us as well yeah so it, it does it does we thank you guys we thank you so much for everything 
Um, right. We've been sitting at the Tanger Outlet for almost an hour. So this episode is over. Mm -hmm. Join us on next Tuesday at 7 o'clock for our next topic. And if you have any topics that you want to discuss, feel free to let us know. Also, check us out on YouTube if you miss any of this episode. You'll see it in our story, and you can check it on YouTube at the Dre and Rose Ro Show. Mm -hmm. Okay? We love y'all. Hey, uh, Carzo, 